So tonight we are at the world famous Mercado de San Miguel in the heart of Madrid to eat, of course. We went late in the evening because this place is so popular, it is packed almost 24-7. It's not actually open 24-7, but if it was, it would be busy 24-7. The trick is getting a table, though. Yeah, so we actually came here two other times and ended up coming at 10.30 at night. It closes at midnight. We recommend that time. First of all, you can get in line to get food. You don't have to wait so long, and you can usually find a table. We only have an hour and a half to eat all of the food here, which of course is impossible, even if you had all day. But we're gonna get as much in as we can. To get things going, Kim is starting off with the sangria and I am going to start working my way through some of the many wine possibilities that are here. We are liking this place already. starting out really well. I love anchovies. Ew! I love them on pizza, I love them deep fried even better. Ew! Try that and tell me what you think. Uh oh. <laughs> really good, it tastes like gravy. This oxtail, a rabo de toro. Totally don't know how to eat this. <laughs> don't like this one. It's not easy. like clam chowder, but baked. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what are those salmon? Salmon? Like? Octopus. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> this is calamari and anchovies. There's a barbecued beef and a braised beef. It's like mushy, like soft, not mushy, soft. Soft is a better word. Wine. Next. Wine as well. This does not look that appealing to me. But the stick is cute and long. I'm gonna eat the shrimp side. The welcome drink. It sort of tastes like a deviled egg without it actually being a deviled egg. Devilish. It's a sweet. It can't be that bad, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, it took me a while to figure out what it was, but it tastes like a, a horchata. It's like that cinnamon rice milk. And this is like a half dollar or something. Remember what they've seen? Like, come on. I feel like I'm going to hurt somebody if I bite this. <laughs> So this is definitely a place you have to come. You can snack for days and drink for even longer here. You could easily start the morning here and end the evening here. There is so much variety here and it's different. It's really inventive and creative and I love it. Yeah, lots of really unique um, takes on food and really good. And if you love like tapas and sampling a bunch of stuff, this is a great place to come. Yeah, if you're a foodie, this is the spot.